guys, Xander, feel no pain. Back with uh, another little episode, I guess, of uh, my Final Fantasy fourteen. I almost said Final Fantasy X. <laughs> uh, gameplay. Uh, going through and doing my thing. I almost forgot where I was going. This is, uh, in case you didn't know, this is a new day, so I'm a... Uh, Gonna be just going out and killing stuff today. I think is the general idea. First set of little quests and everything. But I hope you guys are having a good day. It's really weird kind of doing this because I know I know you guys are listening. I know when you're watching this you're listening. But as I'm playing it just sort of blows my mind that you know, people are going to be listening to this at a different time, so I guess I should, yeah. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to basically be going through, grabbing the rest of the quests from the town before I go out, because no sense in doing things twice. Yes, I completed your tasks. I talked to people. Yay! Yeah, so the little red over their head, uh, I think the next quest I get for her is like level 5. So that's a thing. And like I said in the, I think it was the last video, I, I kind of get lost between all these, but I think, I think I am probably going to do some sort of crafting in this. But that's the only thing I'm not going to show in these videos, just because it's very kind of time-consuming and obnoxious. And it's fun. I like doing it. But uh, if you want to see how that works, you can check out the uh, the uh, review I did on it. I actually go through a good bit of that. There we go. Okay, I got ladybugs and squirrels, and then I've got all three in the Lancer quest. So let's see what else there is. Oh, good lord. Actually, let me go back to the archers. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff over there. There we go. Slave forest fungars. Fung, fung, fungars. Fung something. I, I really need comments. I really just need hilarious comments on how badly I'm just wrecking the pronunciation of everything in this game. I love high fantasy type stuff. I love these, I love Final Fantasy games in general, but oh, I'm so bad at having a clue what I'm doing. And more so, being able to pronounce all the crazy names and places. And... I've got Gridania, or Gridania. See, I, I, don't, I can't even do that one. It's kind of ridiculous. See, I know some of these quests, because I've, I've done this before, so... This one's kind of cute. Teach you about the emotes and stuff. know whoever uh, like figured out this sort of like 
I don't know, it's been in video games forever, but this sort of like three part everything. Like the big set piece like Devil May Cry type games always have these uh these like three step bosses where you have to do you know, one form and then a second and a third to kill them. I mean it goes back as far as Mario where you had to like what was it? I think you had to, like, bounce, like, do uh, against Bowser. You had to, like, hit him, like, three times. At least as far back as Mario 64. But. It, it's amazing how many games use that sort of uh, one, two, three sort of vibe for all their stuff. Uh, even that, the one I just did, I had to do three different things for that girl to cheer her up or make her happy or I guess that was the point of it. So, it's, it's kind of weird to me that so many games after decades of it being done still still use that sort of three-step process for questing. And I guess you could even say that about a lot of stuff that's uh, a little less. I mean, everything's kind of three-step. You get a quest, you kill some stuff, you turn it in. Uh, three steps you know. and once in a while you will get uh, ones that are just as simple as like go here pick this up come back but it doesn't happen that often where am I going I've got old Verdania and okay. go to the amphitheater or actually I can go over here run my way around. Now you may be thinking, like, this game looks, you know, a little boring, a little, you know, run around, talk to people, and the main quest stuff's really cool, but, like, obviously these little fetch quests and stuff are uh, pretty basic, but you've got to understand, I've I started as a new character. I could have gone ahead and started at level 10 and uh, cut out all this stuff, but I kind of felt it was necessary. This gives me a chance, one, to kind of get used to talking while I'm recording, um, while I'm playing, while I'm doing stuff, which is going to be important because if I'm going to actually do any kind of commentary while I'm playing in higher level areas and once I start doing dungeons, uh, this is good practice. and. I know it seems unfair to, like, almost use anyone out there watching as guinea pigs for it, but it's important, and you guys can leave comments and give me, you know, criticism and whatever else. And, you know, whether or not you want me to leave those up so you can read them, that, that would, it would waste a lot of time, but it would, uh, if you guys wanted to read it. And I will do that for, like, the story quests and everything, but this so far is just like the beginner like basic fetch quest I go here do this talk to this person give them this random item um, so there isn't really a whole lot that is required for that I guess um, not that interesting yet I'm going to go to the Central Shroud first. No. I'll go here. I'm here. Actually going to go out in the world and do something. Holy crap. I mean, it's about time. I'm almost level 4. Or, well, I guess I'm just level 3. Okay. Yeah, as you guys can see, it shows quest things to kill with this little queue above their head, so... You'll have to forgive me a little bit. I do tend to like mash the hotkey buttons while I uh, do this stuff. Okay, so that says that that gives a slow. I don't know if that means like a 
movement can blow or uh, or actually just a uh, like attack speed slow or maybe both. Either way, I'm gonna keep using it. I'm so used to using an archer as well. This is throwing me off because I actually just want to stand here and kill things. Mind you, it's not a problem. I don't mind doing it, but it's a little weird at first. The last ground squirrel I have to kill. And mind you, I could be a thing. Alright guys, sorry about that. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm having a little bit of problems with my computer. Apparently it wants to keep like going out of the window screen. Well if that keeps happening we'll work through it. No big deal. I suppose. I had to make sure I wasn't laying my hand on my keyboard or something. <laughs> and yes, right now the combat's very basic. It's, uh... Very simplistic, very just kind of supposed to be getting you used to how this works, and... You know, as you can see, I'm not taking much damage down here. My uh, my health hardly goes down, and all I'm doing is using these two abilities. But you know, I actually don't know if there's the little fungal things here. And there's my phone. Now this is interesting because I think I talked about this in my review, but oh, I forgot I have that too. Um, oh, can't use that yet. Not to level five. <laughs> but I think I talked about this in my review. But um, yeah, you have your inventory, which has like a hundred slots. Yeah, hundred slots. But then you have your armory chest, which is basically 25 slots for each kind of armor piece. So, really, the amount of armor that you have, or the amount of uh, inventory space you have if you combine the two is insane. Like, a lot of MMOs start you out with literally, like, one backpack with, like, 16 items or something like that. But, not this one. This one gives you plenty of space. And, if you do a lot of uh, crafting and things like that, it actually does add up. It adds up pretty quick, and you run out. But it's uh, a lot better than having to go to a bank every five minutes and put stuff in there. And I don't know. It just feels like... I don't know. There's more freedom to play the game instead of micromanaging inventory, for God's sake. Slay mightlings. Yeah, I'll do that. Get a new ability. Okay, so after the truth, I can do that. And do more damage. I got it. That's what this means. It only does a potency of 100 damage, so it's like a normal attack. But if you do the true thrust first, then it makes it 200. So, basically, looks like I'll want to slow him. 
Still not taking much damage. The enemies do eventually get harder, but for the time being, they're uh, just kind of apparently worried about teaching me how to play the game. So you're not even wasting time. these guys. Okay, now I'm in a fate. So this is what I was, I, uh, this is my review. And I hope I don't die in the process, although it's possible to get a pretty low level. You want to be, uh, pretty high level for these, or like at least a couple levels above, because these things will actually, uh, gang up on you. As you can see this happening. played or saw anything about Rift or anything like that, that game, these are basically identical to Rifts in that game. I mean, the, the way they play out is slightly different, but the idea is generally the same. It's usually, uh, it's, it's meant for kind of like a couple people to do, but you can generally do it yourself, at least at low level. I've, I've never made a pass level, uh, uh, 20, uh, uh any character in this game, so I'm more than a little curious to see if it stays that way or if at later levels I'm just gonna actually wreck doing this. Ow. Almost done. Gotta keep killing stuff. Like spawn like two or three and all. Well, this is happening anyway. There we go. Woo! Level. And they all run away. It's a little awkward. At least we're getting some combat in, though. I mean, the first two uh, like episodes of this, yeah, I'm glad I did character creation and everything, and, you know, showed you guys how the game begins, but it's nice to actually get out there and kill some stuff. Yay, things! There we go. Now, I can actually, no, I can't yet. I guess you have to have a second. Yeah, I guess you have to have a second, like, uh, class or whatever to be able to create gear sets. That's okay, I suppose. For the time being, though. I know there's quests out here, and I know I could go grab them, 
But for the time being, I'm going to go kill these forest doohickeys and get all those turned in. That'll actually probably be about it. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to repair my stuff. Repair all my things. And I'm going to leave it there. Actually, I'm going to turn, uh, go kill the uh, forest bunglars and turn those in in the next video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you uh, are glad to finally see some combat and questing and stuff like that, as opposed to me just running around the town talking randomly. But, I'm going to leave it there. So, I will see you guys in the next video, and Feel No Pain says hi. Hold on, i got to show this every time. There we go. Aww. <laughs> See you guys in the next video.